Good morning, happy, merry Tuesday morning uh, that it is. Um, myself and Janet are from the flock. Normally, normally we get to um, interview everyone else, but we are interviewing our own selves, are we not? We are, we're interviewing our very yeah, own selves this morning. Which is weird. Um, we're going to wait a little minute just to see if um, anyone joins us, and if not, we'll just carry on chatting um, to... And it, it's kind of what we do best. It is. We're quite good at talking to everyone. Also, just, just for the record, we did not coordinate our outfits especially, but we do this a lot. Quite often we will have... She's making it up. She rings me every morning and don't. says, Janet, what are you wearing today? <laughs> and then copies me. I want to wear exactly what you're wearing. Um, no, today we've both been channeling the grey because let's face it, it's a pretty grey day out there. It's a pretty grey day, it's a pretty grey day. We decided that we needed hats. Yeah, we did. In our we lives. needed hats. We, we needed hats. a grey hat. The grey thing. Yeah. I'm jealous of this. Yeah. Pom poms. Yeah. Pom poms. Necklace. Pom -pom. The pom poms. Although that is a. No, I'm not going to. We're not going to discuss what else we use the word pom pom for. No. No, we're not. We're actually definitely not going to do that. Um, it's more pom pom. Yeah, yeah, it is actually. Yeah, you're to right. be fair. Yeah, yeah, true. Anyway, that would be a weird necklace. Uh, <laughs> so, what we are going to have a bit of a chat with you about this morning is uh, hot desking. So that's where that's where we are now. We are in Windermere Works, and this is coming live to you from Windermere Works. Um, me and Janet run Flock PR. Um, it's a PR, social media, and events company, and it's doing rather well. It's doing really, really, isn't it? Yeah, it is. We're busy, busy, busy. We're very busy bees. Um, and we would like to think that some of the busyness is down to the change in location. Yes. Um, so before this, we were 90% of the time at Janet's kitchen table and probably the rest of the time in various coffee shops having meetings yeah. or at my kitchen table. And whilst that is brilliant, because let's face it, that is really, really cheap. Although it's cheap oh, to be at home, it's not cheap to be out in coffee shops. It's no, yeah, and also actually, it's not cheap to be at home because we used all the heating in the winter. Yeah, true yeah, actually. Yeah, yeah. We, we did like the heating. We did like the heating. Yeah, we liked to be toasted. So it's not cheap at all. No, it's not cheap actually. You're right. Um, but there is that perception, I guess, that yes. it's going to be cheap Cheaper. to stay at home. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, but what we have found since coming here, and we've been here since what August? Yeah, yeah, July, August. Yeah. July, August. Um, I'm sorry, I'm already really short. I'm going to be less yeah, short. Yeah, come up, mate. <laughs> Mine's on the lowest. <laughs> Mine's on the lowest. It's like, what is going on? I've gone tight. Here. Keep talking. It's at the front. It's at the front. Will I go tall? Time. Janet's going to just casually sort her uh, <laughs> chair out. It's going to be amazing. <laughs> it's going to be, you're going to be like, what a difference. This is like so two awesome. weird <laughs> news reporters we coming to you from there outside the toilet. Look at that. Look at that. Oh wow, that is I'm now, I'm now a normal height. Yes, because I'm sitting on that chair yesterday yeah. and I've got the longest back in, in the like, world. What's nearly. going on? I've turned into teeny. the teeny person. The teeny person. I'm already the teeny person. Exactly, so yeah. no one needs that. Yeah. Um, we'd just like to make a moment for these mugs. Um, Janet is on brand with fabulous her, but we, I'm, I'm sporting a Daniel O'Donnell mug. There he is. What a dish. Who? What, that, exactly. Who? I'm not entirely sure. All I know is I'm, he's an Irish crooner. Um, and, I, and I use the word crooner in the full sense of the word. Um, but my friend likes to buy me embarrassing mugs um, and I like using them. So shout out to the embarrassing mug giver, Al. Um, what, yeah, what were we chatting about? We were talking about hot desking. We were yeah, talking about we hot were, desking. That's right, and yeah, the benefits of that. The benefits of hot desking. Yeah, that's good. That's and a good thing to be talking about. about how, a di what a difference it's made to our businesses. Our yeah, business. Yeah, really um, Having actually a professional place to come and sit and work and bring clients to. Mm. So we've got the hot desk yeah. in space, and we've also got use of a boardroom, which is just over in that corner, you can't see it, but trust me, it is there. It is there, it is actually. Um, and there's a great breakout area as well, so if you want to make phone calls and you don't want to disturb anybody else in the hot desk in space, you can do that too. Yeah, there's a bloke in there now, actually. He's yeah. up from... Uh, exactly that. He's up from Bristol, um, and he's on his holidays, but needs to catch up with some work, so rather than Again, sit in a coffee shop with dodgy Wi-Fi. He's come here. He's on the phone out there doing some Skype shares, um, which is and it's great. Cool. Yeah, the, the um, Wi-Fi here is super fast broadband. Oh my God, it's amazing, and so, it annoys me when I go home. Absolutely, now. literally, you go home. You're like, this broadband is so slow. It's killing me. I can't tell you how many times I have actually come back to the office just to be able to send stuff. 
Yeah, that's quite depressing actually. Mm. I come in, I come here just to do my um, Tesco shopping now. Yeah, and actually, that's the good thing about it. Yeah, yeah, you can, yeah, you can pop, in, pop in whenever you like. Yeah, so it's more or less. <laughs> Pretty more much. or less. Pretty um, much. No, I think as well, it has made when we have now met people and we're bringing people here as opposed to meeting them in Cafe Italia or which I love. I'm not taking anything away from Cafe Italia, but oh, homebound. or homebound, yeah, or also gorgeous. Um, or Crafty Bar. Oh, Crafty Another Bar. Oh, goodness <laughs> me, these, these are all fantastic places. Now. Basically, we spend our time wandering around Windermere. Wandering around Windermere in, in pubs and cafes. Um, but I do think that it has added that, like you say, that extra layer of professionalism and it helps people take us more seriously. I actually have seriously, to step in seriously. seriously. I have to step in here because we missed out Ewan. Just oh, good just good food. <laughs> yeah. Can't miss out the lovely you. No, you can't miss that out. Can't miss that out. I might grab a wrap. Absolutely. I might grab a wrap yeah. today. I'm actually. sitting at a coffee. Yeah. Maybe, yeah, maybe we'll even do that. Maybe we'll even do that. Maybe we will even do that. Yeah. Um, so no, for us, hot desk skin is, it's great because it's been flexible. So mm. we quite often will be out about on the road, meeting our clients in their space because we like to get, our, know our, get to know our clients in their place of work and get to understand what makes them tick. But equally now, having a place that is quiet, reliable in terms of, you know, broadband and being able to do mm -hmm. stuff like this, broadband, that's laptops flying around. Um, it does make a really, really big difference. Um, the other thing that... Flock is flying. Flock is flying. Yeah, it really flocking is. Mm. It's great. It's actually great. Yeah. Sometimes we think, what, what, what have we done to deserve this amazingness? Then we remember we've worked damn hard. Hard. Damn hard. Um, so now we buy pom pom no, Yeah, and I sport extremely shiny and distracting caps. Um, I really love this cap. I'm going to wear it all the time now. It's going to be my new Facebook Live cap. Okay, I cool. think, yeah, because I, apparently I need one of those. No, what I was saying, the other thing that has been great about hot desking is meeting other hot deskers. Meeting other hot deskers. Meeting other Absolutely. hot deskers. So, yeah. I mean, like we were saying before, we've got this bloke in. He's Jay. here from. He, Jay's here. Jay. Another J. First, first name, first name terms already. Yeah, like that. absolutely. Connections, yeah, Jane. connections. Um, so no, I think that is that is one of the benefits is that you get to meet other people, mm. and sometimes just those conversations that you're having lead to business. I mean, that isn't the point of it, but I think sometimes working at home could be quite isolating. Yes, definitely. Um, Hot desking is a just kind of another form of networking. Yeah, but it is actually. You know I mean? yeah, Without the yeah, formal yeah, yeah. term of networking, you get to just chat to loads of different people and make lots of good connections. Yeah, yeah, that's which true. Is, which is brilliant, really. Yeah, it is brilliant. It's an, it's definitely um, an added bonus. Here we go, Jay's here, coming here in now. Jay. Here comes Jay. Jay, we're, we're live on Facebook. We're live if you on want, Facebook. If you want that way, people will actually... know he's a real person. There he is. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> um, and now we're disturbing his hot desking session, but um, he's fine. He's fine. He's, he's doing this private Skype business next door. And um, what does Joe do? I work for Teach First. He works for, he teach, works for teach, teach First. He works for Teach First. He works for Teach First. What does Teach First do? Uh, it's a charity which try and place high performing graduates into schools that struggle to find teachers. <gasps> wow. What amazing! That's a cool that is a job. lot more worthy than what we do. A lot more. We need to chat more. Yeah, we do need to chat more. We do need to chat. Thank more. you for telling us that, though. Yeah, thank you. Um, the lovely Jay, everybody. <laughs> yeah, go Jay, go Jay. You're one of them, and I'm a one of them. I know. Yeah, I'm a proper boy, boy, boy. Yeah, I don't know. I pick it up. Yeah, I think I just look a bit. Shy. I Ooh. just like to make some noise. Yeah, I like a bit. Of noise. I like some a bit of noise. noise. Make some stuff some feet. Stab some feet. Um, so no, so that is, they are the benefits to us of hot desking. I'd be interested to know what other people's um, input is, because we've when the, the previous times we've been chatting with people here, it tends to be people who've got the office space, because mm -hmm. actually upstairs there is lots of fabulous offices, and next door through there, there's the bakehouse and the sugar store, mm -hmm. which are two big office spaces yeah, that are spaces. like canvases at the yeah. minute. They are ready to be taken over, I Absolutely. think it's up to 20, People in each, easily. Yeah, yeah, yeah about yeah. twenty people in each. It could, it could um, take, and that is a really, really great space, and it's just ripe and ready for someone to come in. Yeah. But the people that we've talked to are the more office-based people, so I think yes. it's quite nice for for the two people. Hey, two people. Hey, <laughs> watching us. Um, to understand that what hot desking is, because do you know what? Do people actually understand? What does it even mean? Maybe we should explain what that what, what we yeah, do. Yeah, we should probably explain what yeah. we do. But just before that, I think the, one of the things about hot desking is that 
it can get quite isolating at home. Yeah. And the good thing about it is that you can just come and spend half a day, a full day, once a week, once yeah. a month, just to break that monotony of being at home all the time on your own. So it's got that flexibility. Yeah, totally. You can dip in and out as and when you feel like it. Yeah, that does make a big difference, yeah. I think. We actually spend a lot of time hot desking here um, because we prefer it to our own homes. Yeah, we do prefer it to our own homes. <laughs> well, look, do you know what else it is? In a very well? good way. Yeah, I feel like when I come here, I'm coming to work. Yes. So I can, I, I sit down at my, my hot desk and I know that I am getting my work stuff done, whereas I think when I'm doing stuff at home, it's very easy to be distracted yes. by my dishes or my washing up, mm. they both have the same thing, or my washing, or my laundry, or whatever it might be. And you always end up with that guilt, I used to end up with that guilt, which is, if I'm working and I've got something, a, a house job that needs doing, I should be doing the house job. If I'm doing my house mm. job, I should have been doing my work. So mm. it was kind of lose-lose, really. Whereas yeah. now, I come to work, and when I go home, I go home. Yeah. And that's been good. The biggest benefit for me is that I eat less. Oh, yeah, there is that. There's a fantastic kitchen no, here there is with great kitchen. facilities. I'm going to put the light, light on. on. But when let's we were sat... Let's go. No hands! <laughs> Let there be light, and there was light. Floated. But yeah, the biggest thing at home was sat on my kitchen table. Oh, I'm nibbling. I just ate nibbling. all day long. Yeah, we had crisps there and stuff. Yeah. The other good Treats. thing here is there's a private fridge, so when we have fizzy Fridays, which are <laughs> obligatory on a fi on a Friday, we crack open a bottle of fizz and um, just get tucked right in there. Not first thing. No. Not first we usually, thing. We, 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 we sign off about four o'clock. Yeah, about four o'clock, and we crack open the fizz and there's Neither a fridge of us here. Have to drive to work. Night, so, yeah, yeah, we walk, we which walk. is. Better for the environment. Absolutely. Yeah, better for the environment and our waistlines, even though it's about 15 steps <laughs> um, that we actually do. But yeah, there's a fridge here. We keep we keep our bottle of fizz, yeah. our fizzy Friday fizz, yeah. is in the fridge. So and anybody who wants to know about it. Absolutely. And ah. they do now. Yeah. Oh, we've gone live about anybody that. who wants to come and join us for the Fizz Friday at any time. Oh, yeah, yeah, do. Come and see us. Yeah, we come and see us on Fizzy Friday. I think we've got, um, is it? Is it Elvis? We've got Elton the Elf. Elton, Elton, Elton the Elf. Elf. Elton, Elton Fine Elf is yeah. joining us for a fizzy Friday. Um, we're going to get him tipsy. Hick. He's going to work first. He's, he's going to have to work because that's work the only way we allow ourselves fizzy Friday. It's like smashing all the jobs. Yeah, he's going to have to work first. Sorry, Elves, but yeah. them is the breaks. Yeah, and he's got awkward little mitten poor hands. Um, but I think. I'm so sorry. I've just made a John message. Smale, you two should have a radio show. Yeah! I, think that. I, I would love a radio one. I'm not so keen on be, everyone being able to see me, even though I am wearing this hat. But thanks, John. That's Thank that's you, John kind. Smale. That's really nice. Um, I would love a radio show. I secretly have a desire to be a DJ. A DJ. The music, mate, would be amazing. I, yeah. would, I would listen to that show. It would just be cool. I would listen to that show. It would be fun. It would be fun. I think I would um, be better on a chat show. Yeah, you would be actually. Just, but you saying I've got a face for radio? Oh, 100%. 100%. You've got a face for radio. You've got a hat for radio. I was gonna say what with a hat? Like I've this? got a hat for telling you've got a hat for radio. Just saying. Just saying. I don't mean it. You know I love your hat and I love your pom pom. I love the pom poms. Um, so no, for us, Windermere works. Actually works, doesn't it? Windermere works. Works for us. Yeah, Windermere works for flock. Yeah. And actually, I think it would work for all different kinds of businesses. We've got all, all kinds of people oh, in here. people who drop in and out all the yeah, time. Yeah, it's lovely. Fantastic. And I think having the permanent office space upstairs, you know there's going to be people here, there's yes. going to be people buzzing about. So it's sometimes got a nice vibe. It's, it's got a nice vibe. Got a really nice vibe. And the reception people are just about the most helpful people in the world. And if we could steal them to work for us... We would. Yeah, we so would. Yeah, we so would. In fact, we might. Out when it works, we're coming to poach all your stuff and we're doing it live on Facebook. Yeah, no, we're not going to do that. We we're won't do that. We no, promise. We have morals and ethics, and they are real proper strong, actually. Yeah, and annoyingly so. We don't steal people. No, don't steal people. Don't steal people. Don't steal anything, actually, anything. kids. Don't steal anything, kids. It's, it's bad news. It's bad news to do that. Um, so, no, I think we probably. No, we haven't told you how to actually get hot desking. Um, <laughs> I'm not going to put in a comment in. Well, You'll probably be able to see it anyway, but we're just, you know. They're just going to be professional. Um, so, no, I think the way you want, if you are interested in coming into this fabulous hot desking space and sitting opposite a pair of nutters like us, 
um, and maybe having a conversation or maybe ignoring it and getting on with your work, either is fine, then you would call Bill and you would call him on 015 394 88210. I am so impressed. I know, man. I thought you were going to get maybe run around the desk and go and find uh -huh. the actual number, but she's done it. It's, it's actually written on the underside of my cap. And also on the wall over there. And also Joking. On the wall. It's, it's not on the wall over there. It's in my mind. It's in my mind. And I, I should probably check that that is the right number. It won't be on there. No, it's not on there. Anyone? I think it's the right number. Or, you know, Google it. Google it. Google that. www.windermereworks.com. Yeah. Or just say... Oh, Google, just, Google Bill. Yeah, Google. <laughs> look for a Bill Smith, you'll find him. <laughs> There's only one. There's only one Bill Smith. Where's Bill? Where is Bill? No, you would call. You would call that number, and you would chat to Bill, and he will tell you. Like I say, you can pop in for a morning. You can pop in for an afternoon. You can actually book month or week sessions at a time. Yeah. It's completely flexible. You can make it work for you. I think there's even a year pass that basically means oh, you is. can just. Dip, dip come and go in. as yeah, and when you like. Go completely as and, as and when you like. It's a code for the door. It's all very secure. But um, Bill's the man. Bill's your man. He can tell you everything. Yeah, he'll tell you everything. Bill and he can tell you knows. about the office space as well, if that's something that you, you're interested in. If you're expanding, if you're thinking, do you know what? There is just not enough room in here mm. for me and all my team. Yes. Um, then you should, be, you should be looking to come here because it's just about the most happening place in Windermere. Um, and yeah, call Bill. It's like being on Strictly. We need, a, we, need, we need a little tagline now. Yeah, so just across Bill. the bottom. Call Bill, 015 394 88210. Um, and if you're wondering where Windermere Works is, yeah. do you know, that's a good shout. Yeah. It's right in the middle of Windermere. It's now, right in the middle of Windermere. Not everyone did know that it used to be, it, that it's, it's been here for a long time. It's been here for a long time. time. Yeah, it was um, called the Windermere Business Centre. Yeah, Windermere Business Centre. Um, and it's been fabulously renovated and revamped it yeah. looks amazing in like a cool industrial yeah. chic urban vibe yeah. um hence the hat so oh and look really trendy oh, furniture. i just went off without anyone touching it yeah really um, trendy furniture proper trendy furniture we're not showing that off to you because we're you know we're sitting here and we're you're on a tripod so that's how that's going um but it's right in the middle of windermere near the fire station it's probably the Easiest the most landmark. Yeah, yeah the most recognizable landmark um there's parking outside, there is streets to park on if the car park gets too full, which yeah. sometimes it does when we do LA23 Net, yeah. which is a busy networking event, casual plug. Yeah. Um, first Wednesday first of the month, month. Wednesday the 6th of December, the Christmas quiz is coming up. It's now Christmas Jumper, Christmas Christmas jumper, jumper. and it's infamous now. It's infamous. And the fabulous Ben Ben. Oh, the quiz master yeah, machine. he's going to be a great quiz master. Be scared. Yeah, be actually, do be scared. Do be very Especially because we're writing the questions, so imagine... Imagine, 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 imagine. We were thinking of doing one round where we just gave you answers and you had to imagine what the question was. <laughs> yeah, which I, I still think we might do. We might do that. Because imagine how weird those questions would actually be if they came from our brains. They would love it. So very strange. Absolutely. So very strange. We should go. Yeah, we're going to have to go. As, as lovely as this is, um, hopefully that's given you a bit more of an insight about Windermere Works. Just to sum up what we do, just so you don't think we're two very strange people just chatting about Windermere Works, we are Flock PR, and we do the best PR, social media, and events. And we are working from Windermere Works, which is why we've been chatting about it today. Because we love, A, having a chat, and B, yeah. working from here. And Look we us love up. what we do. Look, Look us up. up at Flock PR. Yeah, Facebook and, page. And, yeah, Facebook page at Twitter. Flock PR. Twitter, we are at Create a Flock. Uh, all one word, no underscores or nothing. And that's it, I'm going to sign out. Jana's going to do the wave, and I'm going to go press the button. See you later. Yeah, you can wait. You're gonna have to. You'll be on for a bit, Jay. You'll be on for a bit. Here, I'm gonna press, press goodbye like that. Finish.